What's going on? How are you guys today? I'm going to show you some slight improvements to the meal we were having last week. Kind of a cheap meal, kind of not because the ingredient quality is so high. And my schedule's been so messed up lately, especially this week. It's uh, literally 3 in the morning and I'm having my second meal. So uh, my parents are having the floors redone in the house. And I have to go down to the warehouse every day. Plus, you know, my liver damage and I got to film YouTube every day. It's a mess. It's a mess, you know. Uh, so I try to sleep when I can, but um, I can't afford to move out right now. So this is what I'm stuck doing. So we went down to the bakery today again, up west side, bought some organic baguettes, which taste a million times better than the bread alone sourdough bread. I actually don't even want to eat that anymore. I have the oven uh, heating up because we're going to make some homemade french fries, which is the main difference between this meal and the meal last week. So for my protein, I have two options. Uh, some leftover roast beef here and this is an organic strip steak usually i like the you know the freshly cooked steak more on the sandwich but like tonight i'm a little lazy i don't feel like cooking a steak so some of you guys might remember i did a french fry recipe i don't know maybe last year and this is kind of similar to that so here i have uh, some white russet potatoes that were boiled earlier for 10 minutes in salt just uh, peeled them and then used mountain valley water so we're going to do a really nice oil flavor base on these and then roast them in the oven. They're going to get nice and crispy on the outside and be really soft and fluffy on the inside. And this uh, steak seasoning is amazing, guys. Honestly, on the potatoes, it's ridiculous. I like it more on the potatoes than the steak. So maybe like three to four tablespoons of oil and then about two tablespoons of the seasoning. So I mix the steak seasoning into the oil and then put the potatoes in. And I'm just gonna mix the potatoes up in the seasoning and oil. And if you do these potatoes without blanching them in the water, the texture just isn't good. They're kind of like hard and it's just not well seasoned either. The longer you boil the potatoes, the better. It's just uh, they'll fall apart a lot easier which isn't a bad thing, they'll still taste good, they just won't look as good. And you could cut this into french fry shapes, small or whatever you like. I just, for me, this is really convenient. You know, just cut the potato in half and that's it. Now these little like mushy bits of the potato are what's gonna get really crispy, so I'll actually take them and sometimes put them on top. So these potatoes, I put them in the oven at 450. And usually I have to put it on high broil because uh, I don't know, this oven just doesn't work that well. So the name of the bakery, I believe, is Moo Fee. I think I told you guys last week. They have a few different locations. The baguette is excellent, 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 but it's only really good for a day. Uh, the next day, what you could do is like put water on it and throw it in the oven to freshen it up. But this tastes infinitely better than uh, what I've been eating from uh, Whole Foods. All right, I don't think I actually have enough roast beef. So we're gonna take the New York strip, organic guys. So I just pat it dry on the towel and then some salt on top. We have the steaks, guys, the salt, the steak seasoning is all available on frankiesrangemeat.com. And if you just want uh, the salt or the steak seasoning, you can go to frankiesforrangefoods.com. Just a little bit of uh, coconut oil on the pan. Overcooked the steak a little bit, but it's not too bad. So I just have a little red wine vinaigrette to put on the steak. This is red wine vinegar, oil, and some salt. Very simple, but it adds a lot of flavor to the sandwich. All right, so we just took the potatoes out of the oven. You can tell the bottom is nice and crispy. Top is a little browned, uh, but since these are much larger than regular french fries, this is gonna take about 10 minutes to cool off. So you guys have kind of seen this before. Everything's actually organic, you know, despite that not being the only indicator of food quality, it does remove a lot of the negatives, agrochemicals that plague our modern food supply. So as we said, the organic baguette with organic New York strip steak, balsamic vinaigrette on top, and then just organic potatoes with oil and Frankie's steak seasoning. Overall, the meal has a lot of starch, a lot of carbohydrates, excellent for feeding the gut bacteria, decent for gut motility, and uh, important for detoxing the liver. Plenty of B vitamins. There's quite a bit of steak here, animal protein, cholesterol, everything we need on that end. Potatoes also have a pretty decent amount of minerals, especially copper, but you know anything that's not in this meal, like molybdenum, manganese, boron, 
uh, magnesium, certain minerals that aren't super high, I will supplement them a few times a week. And then the water key for grains, water key for probiotics are gonna really help digest all of these carbs, keep any candida in check. We have some masticum powdered up in the spice grinder for H. pylori as well. And then maybe we'll have some charcoal. I did cut my apple up ahead of time here. Uh, you guys can get the probiotic on frankiestrangefoods.com as well. Even eight hours later, this bread isn't that great. For some reason, it's only good like a few hours after I get it from the bakery. We had the roast beef earlier. Actually, I like the roast beef better with the vinaigrette on it than the steak. Guys, these potatoes with the steak seasoning on them, it's fucking crack. It's amazing. Very, very good. On the Burger Review channel, I've eaten french fries at like over 100 different restaurants. The flavor on these is better than any of the restaurants I've eaten at. Although the texture could be improved a little bit, it's still excellent. The interior of the potato is like super moist and nice and seasoned. And then the outside has the super crispy, really flavorful crust. I wasn't going to do a recipe on these potato wedges because they're really similar to the french fries I made, but maybe we'll do it again. So we're going to take about a teaspoon of the kefir grains. And then about a teaspoon of the masticum as well. If you guys haven't had water kefir, if it's made properly, think of it as like a slightly alcoholic, really tasty carbonated soda. Very, very delicious. Now you know if it's room temperature, if it lost the carbonation, you know, it, it sometimes it tastes like warm beer. So you gotta make sure it's, it's correct. So I'm not gonna show you guys because I didn't have to do it today, but if you want to refresh the bread, and you can Google this too, but you just take like some water, pour it on the whole baguette, literally pour water directly onto the baguette, get the outside wet. And then you put that in the oven for like 10 minutes at 350, makes the bread really nice and soft. The flavor still isn't as fresh as the first day, but at least it's not like really hard and, and difficult to chew. So I guess there's two main reasons that people go against carbohydrates. One is like the conventional anti-sugar, anti-carb, insulin, diabetes stuff. And two is the anti-nutrient. So the first one isn't relevant if you have a healthy gut microbiome and you're in a low radiation environment because you need pancreatic and liver enzymes as well as gut bacteria to absorb and digest the carbohydrates without stressing the body. Unfortunately, most people have a lot of toxins, a high radiation environment, and their gut system and organs, they're all messed up. So they can't eat carbohydrates without having a lot of diseases and issues, and that's also partially because of high omega-6 vegetable seed oil intake. Anti-nutrients aren't really a concern outside of vegetables and some fruits. And I guess if the grains aren't properly prepared. But, you know, there's a reason bread is made like this. There's a reason, you know, potatoes are blanched and salted. Those are things that reduce the anti-nutrient content to something that's fairly negligible. But something like a papaya, a lot of tropical fruits, berries, very high in oxalates, bad for the kidneys to eat in large amounts every day. Um, all vegetables for the most part, especially dark green vegetables, colored vegetables, are pretty high in anti-nutrients. So white rice, white potatoes, white bread, all, all pretty safe from that perspective. 
and actually if anything they're much healthier for you than a lot of those fruits but people think oh well fruits are more natural or this or that no. so i could probably finish this off but i don't think i'm gonna sleep as well if i do so we're gonna finish the meal off with uh, two of these charcoal capsules and i'm gonna have my organic honey crisp apple we did a video on apples last week but uh, to put it simply this is a lot of starch and the body has capabilities to digest all different types of nutrients so by adding some glucose some fructose we have some variety in there just really speeding up liver detox and efficiency of everything you know, so with all the nonsense going on that i have to deal with especially with the business stuff uh, i figured it might be less stressful and easier for me to have my own place uh, mainly to you know reduce the wi-fi radiation exposure and so that i can sleep better uh, but the overarching issue is that new york is very expensive so there's a power line that attaches to the house and there's a magnetic field issue so um, i'm probably getting cooked all day and i really have been for most of my life so i'm gonna have a an electrician come next week and and get a quote on rerouting the power line underground because overall that's probably gonna be cheaper than me having to try to find my own place because i don't think i can afford the mortgage in westchester and uh, in order to get a house that fits my requirements, like it's far away enough from a power line and it's close to the you know city where I have my business, you know, we're talking like over a million dollars. I can't even afford half of that. I mean, honestly, I wish I could just rent an apartment or get like a cheap house in Yonkers, but the, the radiation levels, you'd have to coat the house in like a foot of lead and to simplify that, those are basically the requirements of me sleeping. You know, it's a low Wi-Fi EMF magnetic field environment. It's reasonably quiet. Last night, I basically didn't sleep at all. And when I don't sleep, I don't get stuff done. I don't want to go to work. I don't want to do anything. I don't feel good. I don't want to film YouTube videos. I have a hard time being creative. So I figured if I could just put myself in a position where I feel good, I'm rested, then things will get easier. But if you guys didn't see on Frankie's Ranch Foods, we have a discounted price on the kefir because I've been making a lot more and I just want to kind of get it out while it's as fresh and high quality as possible. So we have the plain is only $6 and the, uh, the flavored is $7, which is incredibly cheap considering I pay $3 just for the, the water to make it, guys. Yeah, so that's also kind of the reason why, like, some days I've been missing videos now, which is pretty uncharacteristic of me, considering I've done YouTube videos basically every day for, like, six years. So, you know, last Monday we could have done, you know, plenty of news topics or abortion. There's always something to talk about. I just didn't feel like doing it because, you know, when I talk about things and put my perspective on it, I tend to get censored and I'm tired. If I didn't sleep for two days, I'm just like, oh, whatever, we'll just skip a day and I'll feel better. But... If you guys do want to support me, you can go to frank com to check out all of my businesses. Hopefully my day of eatings and my understanding of nutrition has helped improve the health of yourself as well as your friends and family. You guys can also drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. I was rubbing my hands together in the other video, and it sounds like... My hands are really rough, but they're not. I have girly hands. Uh, but the reason I'm bringing that up is because when I went to the Amish farm the other week, I shook this young kid's hand that worked on the farm all day, like 10 hours a day. The kid was 20 years old. His hands were so rough, just by shaking his hand, he cut my hand open. It was pretty funny to me. But anyway, thanks again for joining, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow. I think we might uh, get back to the kitchen and cooking something nice.